Hello everyone, this is Muhammad Hamza and welcome to IIPC Automation. Today we are going to discuss about a error that uh, occurs uh, in Automation License Manager. I hope uh, if you are struggling with this sort of error. Uh, this error is basically that the automation uh, license services at the back end is not working properly and some update or some virus or some some system file is letting the service go crash again and again whenever you try to open tia portal when you whenever you are going, trying to open semantic manager whenever you are going to try to open uh, WinCC flexible or any sort of other application rig uh, that is related to uh, Siemens uh, it's again and again crashing whether it could be for my, in my case I tried to open Tia portal version 19 uh, semantic manager uh, version 5.7 uh, WinCC flexible there were there were these some errors one was the primary error that uh, lead to lead me to think what's going on i tried to open uh, uh tia portal version 19 for one of my client i was working for so this error pops up as soon i try to open my uh, project that licensing of step 7 basic could not be completely finished uh, because an internal error occurred in the automation license manager now when i was uh, looking at it i tried to open i thought this was only the error for tier portal but when i opened my step 7 uh, it again pops up another message that please reinstall your license manager there is some error so i tried to open my license manager uh, you can see over here the automation license manager i tried to open it up and it gives me an error that automation license manager service has not been started please restart your service now there are two methods number one is the easiest one and number two is a little bit lengthy one but it will 100 percent remove this bug plus you will again able to open your license manager perfectly fine now what you are going to do is uh, you can see this is your taskbar you're going to right click on it and open your task manager this is one method to open it another method is uh, press ctrl shift and escape key at the same time so you're going to open this task manager that's a shortcut key ctrl shift and escape now now go to the background processes and look for automation license manager service this is basically not working now what's the primary reason last night i updated my system if you're using windows 8 10 or 11 uh, they have a default feature of windows updating again and again after some weeks after some months you're going to see that there is an update please update it so that your system is up to date so sometime it happens that when you update something uh, your system got crashed and it messes up with your uh, internal software files so that's what happened with me so i got this message automation license manager service not working now what you are going to do is open your task manager and if you are not if your service is not uh, started or running in the background you will not be able to see this uh, uh, available over here and even if it is working here and you are still you are getting that uh, your system is not working then go to your service section and you must see and you must find over here that uh, there is an automation service if you are not getting rearranged it to the alphabetical order and you can see ALM ALM service uh, yeah over here ALM service automation license manager right now it's running because I have fixed the issue the reason it was not getting over here is that uh, that this service is again and again being stopped by any of the update that I updated my system last night so some of the update was messing with the service so it was not letting the service uh, keeps on running so what you are going to do if it is not there if it is even running and your an automation license manager is not opening up and it's giving you keep giving you this error so what you are going to open your uh, service section uh, this uh, search bar and put service over here when you are going to put service you're going to see the system services now open it up now you have open now in arranged similarly arrange it uh, in the alphabetical order a and at the bottom you are uh, of a section you're going to see the license manager service in your case when you are not uh, 
uh, able to open your uh, license manager what's going to happen you will see that this will be nothing uh, there will th th this running will not be over here because something like this blank space will be there and might be possible might be possible not always in my case this automatic was always here and it was not like this uh, this disable or this manual there are three or four options in this uh, servicing section number one is automatic startup second is automatic and third is the manual and fourth is disabled if you if this service is disabled it will not going to in it will not going to run and similar is with the manual until and unless you by yourself not going to trigger the signal it's not going to start up so what you are going to do go into the properties section and as you can see over here that there are four options start in journal tab you can see start stop pause and resume you don't touch anything right now first if it is disabled if your system is already uh, your update has already disabled this service what you are going to do keep it on manual even if it is on manual put it on automatic now in any case whatever it is if it is on automatic then remain then keep it on automatic and press the start button right now the start button uh, for me it's not showing because my system is always already running my service is already running and i'm uh, i can see my stop button uh, that i can push on i will not going to push it up because uh, if i'm going to stop my service then again my service my my automation license manager is going to crash so i'm not stopping it right now in your case it will be stopped so you have to uh, press the start button apply and okay then you can see then at that time you will see that your system will start the service is started running now when you when you uh, when your system starts running what you are going to do you are going to open your license manager now as soon as you open the license manager you are going to see your uh, license manager window now there can be two possibilities at this point number one your bug is fixed your service is started running and you have no problem now your system will automatically identify your keys whatever you have in your uh, system and it will be uh, okay now you are good to go and you can open your tr portal you can open your semantic manager and you start working now in my case it wasn't so much easy as as i open my uh, tr portal after uh, enabling my service i got few new errors now these are the uh, uh, the errors that i got uh, that uh, go into the command settings go into the connection do some so, uh, do do again do some sort of uh, settings for your license manager because it's not working no product data could be requested uh, for targeted system drive this is my organization name that i put before installing the tia portal so so no license key is available uh, no uh, like uh, no targeted system the thing that uh, the system was uh, retrieving from the uh, from my drive was unable to do that and it was failed because my service has still not been started even i tried to enabling it uh, by forcefully still my system hasn't update uh, uh, hasn't started my service so what we are uh, what we are going to do whatever siemens uh, program if you have opened close it down then i have given a link in the description uh, about a file that you are going to install again uh, that that uh, that file is the license manager uh, for service pack 2 and you are going to update your license manager but before upgrading it first download it how you are going to download it just click it and you have to uh, log into your siemens portal if you don't have the siemens portal don't take tension because it requires you to go with your uh, uh, company's email if you don't have a company email don't take tension contact me through email or whatsapp i will provide the link or i will give you the file in the zip format no problem so just contact me uh, so this is the original and authentic link for downloading the siemens license manager update so what you are going to do is you are going to install it again but before installing it you are going to delete one of the previous old alm file now what you are going to do is you are going to go onto the c, c drive of your system then go on to the program files again go on to your siemens where is the siemens sorry on the common common files you're going on to on the common files then you're going on to siemens over here you're going to see this sws folder click it then you're going to see that there is a batch file do not touch this batch file 
go on to ALM service files. Now these are the service files. If over here by any chance you find file named almdb.mdb, if this is the file name available in your this folder, delete that file. Okay. If that file is not available, like in my case, you cannot see any file named ALM uh, DB. So I'm not going to delete any of the file. Instead, deleting any file, just leave this folder. If it is available, delete that file because that's an old file. So and the one, uh, the file that I told you to download from the main Siemens uh, website, this file, I have already downloaded it. So it's available in my download section. So open it up. What you are going to do is, since it has a administrative uh, privileges, so it will ask me again and again, yes or no. So I keep on yes. And then it will extract it into the temporary folder. Later on, it will be deleted uh, automatically once the once the setup is uh, complete. So what you are going, what you did previous uh, previously, you have to delete the ALM uh, MDB file if it is available in that common file folder of Siemens. If it is not, then then no problem. Just install this. Go on next. No uh, next next nothing nothing uh, more complicated. Uh, since I have already completed uh, completely downloaded it, so I'm not going to install it again so after this restart your pc and once you are going to restart your pc you're going to see that your uh, tia portal license manager again started working perfectly fine all your keys will be available there and those errors will be uh, completely removed and so this is how you're going to start uh, remove those errors and uh, if you're if on the first step by forcefully starting your service your problem is solved don't not install anything further if it is not resolved in my case it was not resolved so i told you first you have a file named alm uh, mdb in your common file section if it is there delete it and then install this uh, uh, new file and your system will be uh, again running perfectly fine and there will be no error and you can open up anything like my WinCC Flexible is perfectly running fine, so I don't have to do anything extra. So now my license manager is perfectly fine and I can run anything. So I hope you like this video. And if you think this is an informative video and it helped it out, uh, help you out, so share it with your friends and also uh, hit a like, subscribe button to the channel so that you do not miss any sort of update. Also ring the bell icon so that you get updated every time i post a new video uh, upon siemens Allen bradley or any other brand uh, right now i'm working in uae uh, as an automation engineer for last four years uh, i'm working with noodles industrial automation llc you can go on to our website www.noodlesia.com and you can contact me through my email through my whatsapp so if there's any problem regarding the automation services regarding uh you need any sort of help in automation you need any help regarding cnc retrofitting you can contact us anytime hope you have a good day thanks for watching iipc automation have a lovely day